beautiful people. Welcome to my channel in the No Tarot 1122. All right, so Libra, let's see what we got going on for you. Keep in mind that these are general messages. They will not resonate with everyone. Take what fits and leave the rest. All right, I hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving. I hope you're doing well. Spend some time with your loved ones. Got some of that good food going on. I'm just saying. Uh-oh, okay. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Messages for Libra. Messages for Libra. Messages for Libra, please, and thank you. What do they need to know? What's the vibe with the tribe? What is happening? What's going on with Libra? Libra, fertility. All right, a blossoming abundance. There could also be a pregnancy here. Somebody could be a little scared that they may have got somebody pregnant. Well, okay. <clears throat> also, someone here may be a bit um, anxious if something is going to grow, if something is going to work out, if something is going to be prosperous. Should you... Ooh. Should you continue to go forward towards it? You got some type of temptation coming towards you, too. Let's see. Two messages. Spiritual union. Okay. Oh, look at this. Libra, you got a connection that's happening here. All right. You may, might be a little bit hesitant about this situation, but it looks like you got a soulmate here. And it looks like, th uh -uh, it looks like things are actually growing for you. All right. And there could be a pregnancy here for somebody. Okay. Let's see. Oh, choose wisely. All right. So, like I said, I did see that there is some type of temptation here. If this is not about a connection, this might be about a new career or something like this, okay? Someone here could be thinking about becoming an entrepreneur. Oh, there's some heartache and loss. What the hell? All right. But prosperity begins, okay? Out of heartache and loss, there's growth. Something new. Give me one more. Mental conflict. What's going on? Uh, <clears throat> someone here may not be sure about a connection here. What's going on? If this is not something that's coming for you, this is something that you're wanting with someone and you're not sure if you should go for it. Whatever this is, it looks like it would be really, really good. But someone here is hesitant because they've gone through some type of loss before, I think. And they're very hopeful about this connection. I see something really positive coming for you. And this is telling you to stand your ground, okay? Stay prayed up here. All right, keep that mustard seed of faith, positive movement forward. I like it. <clears throat> for some of you, this could be an older woman. doesn't have to be. It's just sitting here. I'm not using this deck yet. All right, so <laughs> you might be kind of, you know, letting the clock wind down on this situation before you make a decision. You might be getting a little antsy, a little bored, okay? But this is telling you to follow your intuition. We have two, 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 two on the uh, on the board here. All right, look at that angel number. It's very nice, all right? Uh, whatever this is, this is part of your destiny, honey, all right? Part of the change that's happening in your life. You got something really beautiful here. Passion ignited. Look at this. All right, so somebody has sparked that flame, all right? And it kind of looks like you're a bit hesitant about this situation, possibly because it feels really good. And there, um, someone here might be feeling like, okay, you know what? First of all, this feels too good to be true, all right? And then second of all, this is very intense. And if I lose this, this is going to be a great loss. However... 
there is something very precious here that I don't want to let go of. I don't want to give up on. I don't want to miss this opportunity, but somebody is nervous. Let's see. Give me messages from spirit about this situation. <clears throat> hey, sweetheart, trust me. You let your past kind of, you know, hold you back from something new. You're going to miss out on some good things here, okay? So, allow yourself to open up and be loved and love, okay? There's that. Trust me. Putting yourself out there is no, uh, it's not easy. I get it. And, you know, we can put ourselves in a situation where there's disappointment and heartache, which I get it, but we can't live there, okay? We got to move on. All right, give me three about this situation for Libra. Oh, okay. Uh, in this scenario, you are the student, so it's just trying to teach you something. Maturity is recognizing when wisdom has been achieved and also knowing when a lesson is necessary, okay? So, in this situation, you are the student, but there are some things here, so you got to make some wise choices, okay? Um... <clears throat> I don't know. To me, it seems like somebody here possibly has some great people come into their life, but because of the fear of heartache or previous heartache has actually sabotaged new connections for this person or whoever this is, okay? Um, if you're wondering if this will happen, the answer is yes. Try a different approach, okay? So there is that. So something's happening here, and I didn't like the way that those cards fell out, so I'm actually going to pull a couple more. All right, choose wisely. <laughs> All right, there are obstacles ahead, but you will get through this. All right, what makes your soul sing with joy? We capture that vitality now. Sweetheart, what makes you happy? I don't know. Obviously, it's this connection here because somebody here doesn't want to give up on it, but they're scared. And I get it. Let's see. Give me messages about this situation, please, and thank you. <clears throat> Can I get one more? I just want. Somebody's walls are up. They're very guarded. Wow. There's history in the past. Repeated patterns. Okay, so someone here may feel like they've been here before. I've felt this euphoria before. felt this love before. And it did not end well for me. So somebody here might be a bit hesitant. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so lessons learned. Coming to full cycle. Seduction, I fantasize about you, decisions, wrong reasons, contemplating, stay, leave, uncertain, somebody is completely done, then they're indecisive here. All right, there's a bit of obsession here, holding on, clinging, can't let go, but it brings somebody anxiety, all right? Somebody here might be a bit jealous here too, especially if there's rumors that, you know, your person that um, you're interested in or vice versa. Uh, may be involved with someone else or hmm, someone here is a bit, somebody here might deal with jealousy issues because of something that happened in the past. I don't know, but I'm going to lay that alone. <clears throat> All right, somebody is blind. They are searching for the truth, watching you online, wanting to know. All right, so this could be either you or this person here. Somebody wants to talk, all right? Um, I don't know if you're in communication with this person. I don't know if this is someone new, somebody that you've been dealing with or whatever. But it looks like somebody does want to pick up the phone and, and talk about the situation. Uh, yeah, because we want to see where this goes. Somebody's standing in the hallway when they really want to kick down this door and come towards you. Somebody feels like you are their twin flame connection here. I can see that. And also a life partner. Look, I want to do life with you. Look at this. 
All right, so somebody here has a lot of feelings for you. Or you have a lot of feelings for this person, but somebody here is hesitant because they don't want it to end up like past connections, okay? So, I get it. What does this person want to say to you? Or what do you want to say to this person? Give me messages, please, and thank you. I don't know if this is your energy or the person's energy, so I'm just going to say this person or whatever. I wish I could be fully honest with you, so there's something that someone is not saying. All right, I don't understand. All right, so you know what? Um, you two may be really different. Also, this person is uh, afraid to be rejected. Um, I'm going to put it to you like this. If there's mutual feelings here and it does look like it is, somebody's holding back and that is what's going to get this person rejected. Is because they won't open up. So... If you have one person that is open and showing that, you know, that they care for you, and then you have someone else that is kind of pulling back, not showing, not expressing how they feel, um, the person that really cares and is, is expressing themselves is going to get the impression that you don't care or that you don't want to be with them or whatever, or that they're wasting their time. So whoever this is, if you really care for Libra, Libra, if you really care for this person, someone here needs to open up and speak, okay? Uh, somebody here is really not saying what's on their heart, what's on their mind, how they're feeling, what they're going through. And it looks like this is a good connection here that may end up going out the window if somebody does not express. Anything else that you want to say to Libra or Libra to this person, please and thank you. <clears throat> I can't make you happy. Oh, sweetheart, you shouldn't have to. <laughs> There's that. You guys come together and you build on something that's going to make each other happy. You understand what I'm saying? <clears throat> that's something that you work on together. Someone, uh, that's a lot of responsibility to try to make someone happy. Wow. I really do care even though I don't show it. Somebody isn't expressing how they feel and someone is afraid that they're going to disappoint you or cross watcher maybe you're feeling like you know what um you're going to disappoint libra basically what it seems like to me is that someone here was in a connection with someone that did not uh value you okay this person may have taken advantage of you lied cheated took you for granted and just treated you like you were nothing all right. And if you try to work this connection out over and over again, um, this person may that behavior may have actually gotten worse. You know. I don't really want to go into this because I see this going really south. I can kind of see why someone is not expressing themselves. I think the last connection that they were in, someone here was really humiliated okay so especially for trying to keep it together so there's that so somebody here they want to step up they want to tell you how they feel um they want to put forth effort they want to be with you you know but someone here um feels like they're not enough for you okay maybe this person feels like what you're used to the caliber of people that you're used to, they're too different, okay? So, I don't know, either, Libra, either this is you or this is your person, but either way it goes, somebody isn't stepping up because um, they are afraid of rejection, okay? So, I am going to pull a couple of cards on that, but I think that's like... <laughs> Straight to the point, really. Mm -hmm. Whoo! This is a cold one. Somebody can't get this out of their head either. Even if you two are on a break, someone here is uh, thinking about this a lot. Like, in other words, there's a bond between you and this person 
that even uh, on a break, this someone is like constantly thinking about it. Somebody here needs to block out that negative energy from the past because it's affecting a beautiful connection here. <laughs> Look at that, 333. Three, three. That's funny. Yeah, so somebody can't make a decision. They're stuck in their head. They're obsessing over this situation, trying to make a decision. In the meanwhile, they're throwing themselves into work. All right, then. Oh, golly. Anyway, somebody is totally indecisive here. I I can't. <laughs> I don't I don't know what to say here. Somebody wants to reach out, communicate, and get some type of clarity. All right. If somebody wants to know, are you playing with their head? Are you playing with their emotions? Um, I'm just saying, are you, what, what's the deal with you? What do you want with me? All right, there's that. So Libra, it looks like you're asking this person some questions. What do you want with me? What do you want in this connection? You know, what, what, what the hell is this? <laughs> I'm just saying, well, Libra, I'm going to put it to you like this, sweetheart. It looks like somebody wants to tell you that they are in love with you. However, there are some things from the past that kind of uh, has them stuck, you know, from expressing this. Or a cross watcher, maybe this is Libra, um, telling you this. This person has been hurt in the past. They've taken a leap on love in the past before. And they were hurt, all right? And this person feels like love just always ends up in a tower for them. So someone here may be more prone to, you know, having friends with benefits and things like that. But this person it looks like they want to tell you they want to take a leap of faith in this connection. That they do want to leave the past behind. That you are their wish fulfillment, you know? Um, if there was any issues between you and them... They do want to come out of the cold here and move forward with you, okay? Someone feels lost without you. Now I'm hearing, what is that, Eric Benet? I don't know who that is. I don't know if that's Eric Benet or what's his face? Uh, lost without you, can't help myself. Yeah, that's not Eric Benet. I forgot the guy's name, but anyway... Um, I'm hearing that for you. So somebody is feeling lost without you or a cross watcher. This could be Libra feeling this way about you. Okay. But kind of looks like you got, um, a very prosperous connection that could actually come towards you, but somebody has got to get out of their nerves. Okay. All right. There's that. All right. So anyway, moving on, what else is happening for Libra? All right. What else is happening for Libra? All right, you might get some news on the way. Uh-oh. All right, so let's see. Give me messages. <clears throat> I just got someone who's extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. Uh-oh. Let's see. All right, so we have the staff you'll be taken care of in difficult times. The torch here, spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. All right, so if you didn't understand before, you're about to understand now, okay? Let's see. What else do we have for Libra? Two-faced friend. What? All right, so and this landed over here on you'll be taken care of in difficult times. All right, so you got somebody here that is working against you, okay? There might be a lot of gossip here as well. Uh, this is somebody that is actually talking behind your back or doing something to sabotage something that you want. One of the things that I would definitely say is watch who you bring into your personal relationships, okay? There's that. All right, give me two. Well, actually, give me three more for Libra. <clears throat> The cracked cup, all right, dissatisfaction in life, karma, you will reap what you have sown, sow some good seeds, be good to people here, sweetheart, because what you give out will come back to you tenfold, okay, and like I said, 
news is on the way. I think this has something to do with someone that you're dealing with. Somebody that's in your circle. Give me messages. Somebody might be giving you some bad advice or something like that. <clears throat> also, be careful, Libra, because there might be somebody that is a bit jealous of your connection with this person that you have, okay? All right, let's see. Deep personal strength and peace a peace, a peace that assures success. Successfully overcoming a problem. <clears throat> Let's see. Three messages about difficult times. What is this? <clears throat> There's definitely some messages coming through. You're not sure if you how you how you gonna deal with this. Alright. You might reject yeah, you got some news coming through. This could be about a relationship, a marriage, or either um a housing situation. It looks like you are going to need to protect yourself. There is something here or defend yourself. There's something here that's hidden. All right, let's see. You got an offer coming through. It sounds like a good deal, but it kind of looks like something is hidden. Something's hidden, but you're going to get through this. Mm-hmm. There could be some type of news around a home or a living situation or whatever. And it does look like you are going to be moving away from where you are now. Yeah, you're going to be moving. Walking away from something. Whatever it is that you're leaving here, sweetheart, is definitely going to bring you um, more peace, more abundance here. So what actually didn't work out for you here? is actually um, for your highest good. All right, someone here also might be finding a new job. Let's see. Do any messages? Okay. I also see somebody... Um, I also see you reflecting on a past cycle... Something that you're walking away from. It could be a friend here, a living situation. Whatever it is, I see that you're reflecting on it and seeing how this brought you a brand new opportunity. All right. So, a necessary evil, so to speak. Um, I also think that someone here is going to get exposed to true intentions. So, there's somebody here. Yes, there's somebody that is jealous of you here, sweetie. There's someone here that is jealous of you and they are, okay, you might have somebody that is trying to give you advice on a situation. For instance, this connection that you have with this person, um, you may really be feeling this person, loving on this person, and a friend may be telling you, no, you need to leave this person alone. They're not good for you. They're this, they're this, and they're that. And pretty much what it is, is that this person knows that you and whatever person that was in the first spread are a perfect match. And they don't want to see you be happy. All right? So, I don't know. Misery loves company. But there's a lot of drama, a lot of, a lot of conflict going on here. And I think you're going to realize that somebody actually brought some drama into your life. And I think that you're actually going to leave this person behind, okay? And I think you're going to be reflecting over a lot of things when it comes to this person. Also, that past connection, all right? Someone here has a lot of influence on you, okay? And this person is not really for you, all right? I'm just saying, I think you're going to relook at this situation, all right? Sometimes we have to revise our situations, our, our circles. Yeah, it looks like you're going to hold back your energy from this person, all right, and decide to move on and start something new, like I said. 
All right, so some of you, this could be a roommate, a friend. Uh, this could actually be somebody, somebody on the job here as well. All right. Give me one more. Yep. Look, I'm telling you, whoever this is, it, either it's on your job or in your personal life here, sweetheart. Somebody is running and telling everything that you're doing, everything that you're saying, and they're putting some extras on it too. You know what I'm saying? They're putting a little extra seasoning on it. What did I tell you? I cannot make it up. Who you got in your circle, sweetheart? You got a Judas in your camp. You got to be careful, okay? Uh, I hate to say it, but that's why I keep my circle small. I don't, I don't mess with a lot of people. Because, yeah, you never know. You may think that you don't have anything or whatever, and you got people looking at you, and they feel that you got everything, all right? There's that. So just be mindful of your circle because you definitely have somebody here that is shady as F, okay? A little sketchy, I'm just saying, all right? Anyway, it does look like you're going to be making some changes here because you don't like where you are. You don't like the situation that you're in, absolutely. You want your ten of cups. You want your person by your side. You want the happy wife, happy life, happy hubby. You you know what I'm saying? There's that. All right. We want the picket fence, the llama in the yard, and all of that. You know. So it looks like you're taking action on what it is that's going to bring you abundance, bring you peace, bring you happiness, bring you your empress. Right. There's that. You want something that's going to grow and flourish here. All right, so it looks like this is what you're going to do. It looks like you've been thinking about it for a minute, and it looks like you're ready to do this, ready to do the damn thing, okay? Following your intuition, letting source guide you here as well, you know? There's that. I like this for you, Libra. This looks really good. Libra said, I have gone through enough, okay? I got too many shady people in my in my circle, and it's time to actually make a move here. Absolutely. Libra, I don't know what it is, what area. Well, I can see some areas in your life where you want to make some changes, and it looks like you've been thinking about this for a long time, and it looks like you're ready to make a move, okay? Looks like you've been working on some things for yourself here. It looks like it's been taking a, a kind of a long time, but you know what? I'm going to put it to you like this. Anything worth having is worth working for, okay? There's that, all right? And it's worth being patient, all right? So like we saw in your oracles, you do have something coming towards you. It's just taking a little bit of time to grow, okay? All right, give me more here. What's this karma? Ha, <laughs> look at that. You will reap what you have sown. You you did the work, so you are about to reap the harvest, okay? Things are going to settle down for you really soon. And may, like I said, what's worth having is worth waiting for, okay? There's levels to this ish. You started here, you doing the work, and then there's the payoff, okay? So I like it for you, okay? Anything else for Libra? Libra, it looks like you're cleaning house. You're cleaning your circle here. Absolutely. You're cleaning house. You're cleaning your circle. All right. There's that. And you're moving forward, leaving everything else behind. Absolutely. Now, you might feel some type of way about leaving certain things, certain situations in the past. Um, like I said, you know, in the other cards we saw, we are trapped in fear. However, ooh, stepping into the unknown. Look at this. You got a connection coming towards you that, ooh, wee. Looks a little spicy. Looks a little spicy. Okay. Yeah, see? You have closed the, the door on all this drama, this conflict. You got a decision to make when it comes to your love life here, sweetheart, okay? You got a lot of love to give. We got the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups on the table, too. You got a perfect match coming up here for you, all right? Mm -hmm. And someone here is very loving, giving. It's a very, you know, very intuitive here as well. So there's possibly a lot of, of, uh, a lot of telepathy going on between you and this person. You two may not even be around each other and could connect with each other having full conversations look at that mm, i miss you i miss you too baby i'm just saying there's that so either way it goes you're leaving the head games the drama the need to 
you know, feel defensive and all this other stuff. You know, the, the battle. You're leaving that all behind and you're finding peace and success here. Deep personal strength and peace that assures success. Absolutely. You know, sometimes you have to make a conscious effort to cut out the BS in your life. You understand? And even though you don't want to cut connections with certain people, if they bring unease, dis-ease, which turns into disease, all right, if they bring all of this conflict, inconsistency in your life, sweetheart, you got to do what's best for you. Me personally, I like to know who is in my circle, the character of the people that are in my circle. And if you're making me guess, I don't think I need you there. All right, because that's how you end up with this two faced friends and people that, you know, that have an issue with you and you don't even know what the hell their problem is. OK, so there's that. So, you know, Libra, do what's best for you. All right. Anything else? And now I'm going to get up out of here. I've been here for a minute. Give me one. Great fortune. Look at this. Beautiful. You got some good luck coming towards you here, sweetheart. All right, great fortune happening for you. Some good juju. I like it. We saw that for you anyway. All right, so anything else about great fortune? You got a very positive outcome coming here. Absolutely. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, it kind of looks like where you are. You're not wanting what you're being offered. And it does look like you are looking for something else, something better what you want, what you deserve, okay? Look at this. Yes, you might have a lot of options right now. You might be just checking it out to see, you know, what's what, what you want to do or whatever. And then also, Libra, some of you got a lot of options and love here, and some of you are really reevaluating this these connections here, okay? So there's that. You might know some people that are pretty cool. They bring a lot of abundance to your life. You might have some folks that, you know, they look good, but they like to party a lot, like to drink and things like that. You got some stability here. You got some folks that you know is a little questionable, I'm just saying. But it kind of looks like you are reflecting on all of these things, and you're just basically looking at your options, what is around you here, okay? And trying to make a decision on what it is that you want here. All right, let's see. All right, all right, all right. I see you being single, abundant, doing your thing here. But like I said, someone here is ready to settle down. But the options, it's the options. Libra. Okay, I see you. I see you weighing your options here too. <laughs> What's going to bring you your Ten of Cups? All right, looks like you're good on your own. You got the Nine of Pentacles and Nine of Cups. Baby, you just got some, look, you have success coming for you. Everything that you want is coming for you right now. Yes, things are smoothing out for you. Just work on you right now. Figure out what it is that you want. Oh, Lord. Mm. Libra, there is somebody here that is either obsessively thinking about you or vice versa. Someone here has, okay. Someone here is very sexually attracted to you and someone has a lot of love for you here, sweetheart. And like I said before, this person is holding back and they are not telling you. This person really wants to be with you. They feel that you are compatible. And this person is in their head about this situation because of previous heartbreak. And there it is. It's showing up here. But they want something solid, something new with you. Or either this is your energy. I don't know. All right. Take it off. It's just going to be a cross watcher, okay? But either way it goes, it does look like you got something coming down the line. You will um, be celebrating um, joyous occasions. I'm just saying. All right. There is a possibility for some of you, you might be reuniting with someone here. All right. It looks like you're kind of thinking about it. Libra, I see you on the bottom of the deck, the King of Swords. I don't know if this is you reuniting with someone or um, just coming across this new person. Whatever it is, sweetheart, I like it. 
all right i love it it's beautiful okay so whatever you decide to do it does look like it's going to be a great fortune it's going to be very good for you it's going to be very solid very stable a lot of love a lot of whoop de doo i'm just saying so there's that continue to do what you're doing sweetheart figure out what it is and who it is that you want in your life and be mindful of that shady person that is so-called your friend okay because that person is not your friend all right they're like who libra think they are you might have it going on you might you know what i'm gonna put it to you like this you might feel like you're struggling in certain areas or whatever and your partner your friend your bestie your your day one is looking at you and they can't stand it all right there's that so let's see there's not enough information at this point be observing and be patient yeah you're already watching offer help and healing to someone who needs you all right so i don't know what that is about uh, responsibility around your resources is important at the time. We do see that you're working on that. Like I said, your foundation right now is your your overall uh, thing here. But I do see that you're thinking about adding someone to that. You have been pouring yourself into everything and everyone else. What about you? Absolutely. Especially when it comes to your friend connections and things like that. What do you want? Okay. Somebody might be advising you about your relationship, especially with this person that you really dig in. And uh, you might really want this person. This person might be, you know, really trash talking your person or not wanting you to hook up with them or whatever it is. But you need to be mindful about that. What do you want? Let go and allow spirit to take the lead. This is in the hands of the divine. All right. So you might be actually seeing certain things too. Um, you know, like coming to your your uh things might be coming to your attention. All right. All right, give me messages about this two faced friend of Libras. Oh. These haters bring are bringing you income. Okay. I don't know, but whatever it is that they're doing, it may be affecting your money. All right, so this could be some people around a job. Something has uh, been blocked for your protection. Haters will try to convince you to just give up. Mm. So there is something that you want, sweetheart, and they want you to give up on it. You're popping off, and they're trying to get up in it. Okay, what? All right, so you might have something really good going on in your life, and maybe they're trying to get in on it or stop it. Wealth, abundance, and opportunities are on the way. See, there it is, all right? So you got some beautiful blessings coming into your life, and you got somebody that's watching um, watching your blessings come in, sweetheart, and they don't like it, okay? It could be love, money, whatever, you know what I mean? Yo, somebody could be jealous of the car you drive, your looks or whatever, you know, jealous of the way that other people love on you. Ain't no telling, but just be mindful. All right. Angel number 999, the end of a cycle is coming to an end. So we already know that. All right, Libra, this is what I got for y'all. And I'll holler at y'all next time. Okay. Watch your circle. All right. Bye.